Hi everyone, Chris Natsky here from Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching with your Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week. You know, I was reflecting this morning that uh, oftentimes in our lives we uh, have a tendency to label experiences that we have as good or as bad. You know, particularly when life really brings us some great challenges, it's, it's easy for us to say that that was a bad experience or that was something that we never want to go through again. But it's interesting that, at least as, as I've kind of gone through this, uh, this process, is when I looked at some of those difficult times in my life, I often, I often found that sometimes they had the greatest blessings um, underneath them. And I'd like to share a little story with you that I, I share oftentimes with martial art kids, uh, but we're all big kids anyway, right? That kind of illustrates this point of how we can really look at things from a different perspective. So the story goes like this. There's an attorney in Southern California. He's a real busy uh, mover and shaker kind of guy. And he has an appointment down in Orange County and he gets out of the appointment late and now he's got to go head up the 405 freeway for his next appointment that's near LAX. Now, for those of you who have ever been there or lived there uh, in the Southern California area, you know that to make that drive, it could be a one hour drive, it could be a two hour drive. Well, anyway, he gets on the highway and he's heading north He's already nervous, but all six lanes of traffic seem to be opened up. And he takes a sigh of relief and he leans back in his seat, puts in Hootie and the Blowfish and cranks it up and he starts heading up the freeway uh, and clicks in his, um, his cruise control at 75 miles an hour, which by the way is the speed everyone is going in a 55 mile an hour zone. Well, he's driving along and pretty soon he notices in his rearview mirror that there's a California Highway Patrol with his lights flashing behind. So he lets out this, uh, this uh, kind of sound and he pulls over and the uh, chippy officer comes up to him and says, uh, license and registration, sir. And um, wanders back slowly to his squad car, looks him up on the computer, comes back and says, sir, have a nice day and hands him a $250 ticket. Well, the attorney is exasperated because now not only does he have a $250 ticket, but he's wondering if he's gonna make his appointment on time. So he gets back onto the highway, he clicks it on uh, his cruise control to 55 miles an hour, and he's nervously driving up, and he's on the road for just a couple of minutes, and then all of a sudden, all six lanes of traffic come to a complete stop. He can't believe this is happening. He slams both fists on the steering wheel, lets out this anguished cry, and because he, he can't believe this is happening to him, not today. And he's sitting there for a moment and he flips on the radio to kind of get an idea of what the traffic might be doing, l listening for the traffic report, and he hears there's a 50 car pileup about 10 miles just north of him. Now he can't believe it. He says his day is ruined. But then he reflects for a moment and he realizes that if he hadn't been pulled over by the officer and been held back 10, 15 minutes, he most likely would have been right in the middle of that 50 car pileup. So the question then becomes, was the ticket good or bad? And so I'd ask you today or this week to reflect on your own life. Think about those times in your life when you thought things were really, really bad. When you had an instance that you just thought was the worst thing that could ever happen. But now when you look back at it in retrospect, you find out that maybe the job that you lost led to the business that you opened, which is what you're doing now. The relationship that ended that was just a terrible, terrible uh, shot in your life really allowed you to step back and look at yourself, deep introspection, make some positive changes in your life. Or maybe it's the illness that you had that made you appreciate life in a much greater way, change your lifestyle, and now you're, you're enjoying the health uh, that you deserve. So anyway, is the ticket that life gives you good or bad? Something to reflect this week. And so thanks so much for listening. Once again, this is Chris Natsky from Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching with your Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week, and we'll see you next time.